All right, all right, all right. Let us begin. Let's begin in Dubilis. All right, all right, all right. All right, so an interesting medium range build. I guess Stag would be uh, earshot in Dubilis. Well, the building of Stag with just a laser rifle and some missiles is going to be pretty hard. And having a melee, interesting. Crow. Why are you always early? I don't know, man. It's just how it goes. Welcome to humble abode, nonetheless. Indeed, bit of a Alright, for our first ability ball, we got ourselves a more medium weight um, by Peter Lacey, indeed. Almost maxing out on weight, which is pretty heat. Some decent Lord, VP20C. More ranged build. With a pretty fine melee if the enemies start to close the distance. You dodge and just fucking sweep them. I don't think I have enough time to get a true combo off of the earshot, but, I mean, it, it's there, so it's neat. Yeah, I think we can work with this for sure, though. Yo, Aspiring Club, welcome to Humble Abode. And Mick, welcome back. Dibs for the build. Hell yeah, dude. Zane changed you forever. I understand. That is pretty epic sauce. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, so first things first. Um, the earshot and melee themselves kind of, you know, go at odds with one another. They're fine to use, I guess, overall in the build, but for overall weapon synergy, it can kind of go back and forth as to which one's going to be the stagger punish or the stagger initiator. So I'd much rather switch the Earshot to something like a Majestic, because then you can keep firing that out and um, get either proxy debt for some good stagger buildup. Honestly, even yeah, pushing that into the uh, melee, you could probably stagger break, get some nice dumbledge either or. You may have something for me to mess around with. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Nice CHT. It's heat. All right, for weapons though, um, hmm, maybe LRA is nice for like decent damage at any range. Definitely one of the best ranged weapons. Or Insetsu would definitely fill a role a little bit better with Stagger Break, but I mean, doesn't need it. The missiles themselves are pretty solid, but if we're gonna be at such a medium range anyway, definitely gonna replace this with the Javelin if we can run it. Absolutely goated. We go with one of the big three for now. Uh, core parts. So we're going to be around like 330 speed, preferably. Although, you know, with a more tankier aesthetic, don't really need it necessarily. Uh, go with fem femoral arms. Indubitably. And for legs, probably something akin to my Alpha or Hal. Yeah, Hal for now. Uh, Fugu uh, Fugler series. Fucking neat for cutting the distance with the melee, but if we're only going to use a charge, which is definitely the uh, bread and butter of the laser blade, uh, we might as well not waste our time getting the melee boost out of it. You'll see this booster on a lot of melee-esque builds because of the melee attack and energy consumption, making it super good for melee canceling builds. If you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket with, say, the Kinkaku, which has pretty bad, th well, not pretty bad, horrible thrust, upwards thrust, quick boost, everything except for melee. This is like the melee booster. If you just want to land your melees no matter what, pretty much, because your speed is just insane. But if you want more all-roundedness, more akin to like the Lula in terms of like build utility and mobility, then you go for the uh, Flugel. But, uh, I mean, it's neat, but we don't really need the melee thrust because of our melee. So we might as well go something with the SPD, which lightens, lightens us up quite a bit and allows us to have a nice uh, max thrust to allow us to move around at such speeds as 350 right now. And that's fucking naughty. Uh, for FCS, if we're going to run Talbot, we might as well just run Ocellus. And the Ephemera Arms have some decent firearm specs, so it'll be fine. We can still run VP20C, which is great for natural regen, so not losing much there. Could run a Kushi, has more regen and capacity, a little less supply recovery, but yeah, PP20C will be fine. Plus, has more energy firearm spec, I imagine. Hell, could we run the 20C? We could. That would be around the same speed threshold, although definitely faster than last time. 
So fuck yeah, we actually get some more damage justifying the LRA's existence. Fuck yeah. Terminal? Odd. I would definitely not put it on something like this. Sure, last second play when you're both low is fine, but this doesn't have enough uh, immediate DPS, I think, to uh, warrant the five seconds. I'm better off just using a pulse. Indubitably, methinks. Also, somehow, if we're talking about JoJo, somehow, got King Crimson on your second try on an arrow. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, dude, the draw of the arrow can be very uh, random indeed. Do be chance. Putting your build in the hat of the lineup. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. We'll get to your build right after sparring. All right, what else can we modify this build? Um, We may be able to justify Melander, or justify Melander. Mm, not as much. Not if we want to maintain our speed. So we could go with maybe... No, kind of can't. That's alright though. Alright. Yeah, like 340 speed on a build like this. Not bad. How much damage are we getting? 500? Not bad. 500 per shot. Oh. Yeah, I'd figure the blade would be much more used as like a weapon, a defensive more than offensive. Let him come in and stuff like that. Oh. Give it a good old color. Could you do my build at some point? For sure, man. Welcome to the chat. You're a gambler at times. It's a legendary as well. So lucky me. Nice. Very heat, very heat. Also, I love you, Greeny. Oh, thank you, dude. Raider Link build was awesome. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, yeah, because of this week being so hectic, uh, we got a big ass snowstorm, lost power for a little while there, wasn't able to uh, get a post out for the next Vesper we'll take a look at, so we'll let uh, yourselves in the chat to vote on which Vesper we take a look at, out of uh, who's left, which we've of course only done V6, so the uh, choices are plentiful, indeed, although we'll probably save uh, either Snail or V1 first. So, V1 or 2. You saw the eclipse? I did. From where I'm at, we had a partial eclipse. It was pretty neat. Pretty neat. It was quite dark out. Not pitch black or anything, but pretty neat. It looked like it was like five hours ahead of time in terms of uh, how dark it should have been. Which is pretty neat. Alright, let's give him the killer palette. Move on to the next build. Alright, here's our second commented lined up build. Which we share the share code, so that's why the colors are already pre made. Good old snail. Yeah, probably stiff snail for last. He's pretty much the real V1. Freud is a fucking fraud. Fix snail. V2 snail, yeah. Also, we should do Snail next. I don't know if we do Snail right now as in our next Vesper. I think we, uh, I mentioned like we saved, uh, what's it called, Michigan for last. We should save the best for last, indeed. Mostly getting swarmed by flies where you're at. Damn. Hey, man, we'll all be in swarm soon enough. Summer's creeping in. Wait, was that why the stream wasn't Monday? Um, uh, maybe not Monday, your time, but it's Monday right now for me. How do you submit build? Uh, you can either share the share code if you're here on Xbox uh, in the chat, 
or you can put the part list in chat, or you can put the part list in a comment of the most recent Requiem video. Which is probably the better strat, because you wouldn't want to put it in the chat right now and then get buried. Or you can just save it to put it in chat when uh, we're getting to you. Indubitably. Or you can join the Xbox Flight Club Discord and put your build information in the uh, Requiem Workshop, which is a channel you can make your own thread in. Which is very heat. You see, because of the damn clouds. I see, I see. One of the rare builds you with uh, pre-installed colors. I indeed, indeed. Chat or Discord, either or might. Maybe Swinburne. Sure, sure. <laughs> I see, I see. All right, so this is a pretty solid loadout itself. Another laser blade. God damn. All right. So three. Oh, I'll say this on three forty. Probably the fugal boost here in Santa Gen. No, I'll say no. Nah, yeah, I mean, yeah, Santa's pretty heavy. All right. All right. Let's see what we do here. Explosive thrower, laser blade. That's pretty neat. I wonder would you have enough time? It's a pretty tight window from explosive thrower into melee. I mean, it's definitely possible, but into charged, maybe not. But we'll see. Overall, though, pretty solid loadout. Um, let's see here. The trainos are decent. Uh, having two weapons, though, that will make you have to stop in place is never really a good sign on a lighter build. As you know, the more times you stop st uh, sit still, the more times you trade. The more times you trade, you may lose the advantage. Because when you're light, you can jump around, build up stagger passively while moving. That's your advantage, obviously. But if you stand still, you lose that advantage. So you have to pick and choose. The trainos are pretty solid for getting that stagger at almost any range. But uh, against the lighter opponents, it, you'll won't land it as much anyway um so it's decent i would say like yeah if you got the stagger with this and then you moved in to capitalize with the explosive throw and the missiles that's pretty heat um i could see oh maybe we're not using the javelin because we're overburdened right now i can see the javelin being a little better thing is you're gonna be close range a lot anyway so the javelin won't get too much uh you know usage or at least the value so we could run something like the six cell or um Huxley, for sure. Honestly, Huxley? Eh. Nah, might as well have just these two missiles constantly going off. That'd actually be kind of heat. Uh, let's definitely modify this build a little bit up. So 340 was more or less our speed last time. Almost 350. I always kind of just gravitate towards a Lula over Fl uh, Flugel. Even though it has better melee thrust and EN consumption, that's really only good if you're going to be doing melee cancelling. And I don't see this type of build doing melee cancelling a lot, considering... We have weapons that do favor us at being able or more of a medium to close range anyway. That being the explosive thrower and our missiles. So we don't need to be in their face constantly. Usually you run something like the Fluel or the Kankaku for the melee thrust and the consumption because you want your two melees to be more or less guaranteed to land as they're your main um, points of damage. And you won't really get the boost of the melee uh, thrust itself if you're using the charge attack of the blade as well as the thrower itself just doesn't give you any boost. So, Lula for now. Um, yeah, I guess might as well just have max missile lock. Because then we're not using any actual weapons, really. Other than, well, not, you know, melee. Indubitably. What y'all saying? Howdy, green. Yo, dark. Welcome down by the board. Indubitably. Mind builds have meaning behind the colors. I see, I see. That's pretty heat. Hey, is the drip contest idea still up? Keep an eye, uh, keep on making new art pieces on the game. Nice. Literally don't play the game, just make art. I see, I see. Uh, yeah, it's definitely up. Right now, we're still trying to push for the cosplay 3v3 tournament, which is only like a week away now. Yeah, under a week away. Um, next Sunday, indubitably here on the 14th. So we'll be doing that first, and then probably the cosplay. Oh, uh, then in the fashion contest. Um, although, honestly, we don't have too many teams. I think... We have, what, four to five teams, maybe? And they're not fully developed yet. So the cosplay tournament may not be a thing, but, I mean, we're going to keep pushing for it and uh, hopefully do it until time runs out. And then uh, we may or may not ditch it. And if we do ditch it, obviously, that's quicker to the uh, cos or the uh, fashion and stuff like that. But I got to keep talking to Mecca and get it uh, set up more. But yes, uh, still a thing, indubitably. Which, by the way, if any of you are interested in joining the Cosplay 3v3, do feel free to join the Xbox Fight Club Discord and participate in the play. You will need to be on Xbox, as all uh, participants must compete in the fight. 
Got a Tetra build with a move set. If you like, I'll post the upload code soon. Gotcha, gotcha. Ah, there's your upload code. Very nice. Man, my Death Slinger is just pulling the survivors back to him because I am a DBD player as well. Oh, very nice. Double Dale, it's pretty heat. Me and my buddies are getting back into it. It's good times. Are you on Xbox there, Crow, or are you on PC? You just realized something your pilot name is Knight. Ah, and I do be Green Knight. That's true. This is very factual. Who comes first, me or you, with the name? I don't know, man. Probably Ricky Rat. Got your newest build in the comments of the uh, Ultimate Red Gun video. Ah, I see, I see. We'll definitely have to take a look. All right, so Santa is neat. Uh, too heavy for the build right now, which is, you know, is what it is. Can we run 20C? We can. 20C is goaded. Um, let's see. Pulse per false armor. Nice, solid. All right, so VP 20C gives us plenty of room. Lula as well. Now we can thick it up on the legs. We were at 340, now we're at 370, which is fucking absolutely great. All right, wouldn't change the arms. Maybe how legs. 360 still, not bad. Probably change the core to... Um, could go Mind Alpha. Although, if we want to go speed, uh, it actually won't make a difference. 350 is going to be our main threshold anyway. Yep. Mind Alpha core. Keep the head. Might as well. Don't want to get too far from 350 itself. Uh, the melee itself, I would honestly, myself, rock uh, Pulse Blade as way more consistent with this type of combo. In fact, ah, but, you know, it's a playstyle, so, I mean, melee is melee. Honestly, any melee would work. But, uh, yeah, this setup itself, I think, would be pretty heat. Uh, uh, never mind. I can run Javelin. Javelin's just not worth it. Um, yeah. Although, honestly, you could run Siege Missile. Although, you get less consistency or less uh, usage, so, honestly, not that bad. Yeah, loadout goaded. Just a little tweak on the loadout and the parts optimization. And I now think we're chilling. Very heat, very heat. Give it the paint. Indeed. Oh, nice. Already clean. Very heat, very heat. Oh, I didn't give the uh, weapons. That's right. Oh, did I? I did. All right, we're chilling. All right, faster and stronger. Hell yeah, baby. All right, now we can take a look at your build there sparring, and then, uh, yeah, onward and onward. Onwards and upwards. What have we? Greetings, you're a raven from Japan. Very heat, very heat. Welcome to humble abode. You usually don't set up your Xbox, nor you don't have a PC, so you're on mobile. Ah, because boredom. I see, I see, I see. I get you, I get you. About to say, if you're on Xbox, you play DVD, you can join me and my friends anytime if you wish. Bro is literally Raven. True, true. Is it your turn? Yes, it is. Go and share your build, friend. The time has arrived. Yep, that is indeed the orchard, my friend. Raven head, so shade eye. Mind alpha torso. Basho arms, Melendris T3 legs. Oh, already at my Melendris T3, hell yeah. Alright, Melendris. Vertical plasma missile. Very hard uh, weapon order. Vertical plasma missile, basic shield. I'm guessing just the first pulse shield. Is that laser lance? Or what? What do I have? Basic shield, laser. Basic shield, laser leg. Oh no, wait. there we go. Laser blade. Gotcha, gotcha. Majestic. Another laser blade. Alright, 
Gills, Walt. What else we got? Big Coral Gen. We'd love to see it. What about expansion? The way you use the build is weird and gimmicky. Gotcha. You rush in by melee canceling or spamming quick boost and then charge laser blade while uh, blocking up. Get ready to parry with your shield. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yo, what's up, Captain? Or Cap. Howdy, greetings, welcome to Humble Aboard. Just adding a little mesh, uh, method on how to use the uh, gimmick build. Gotcha, gotcha. Go into the melee, rush down, use shield, back up, and get urn back. I getcha, I getcha. So I'm limited, but yeah, when I get you, get you, get you. The lesion, lesion's pretty heat. I forgot it's AA. Gotcha, assault armor. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But man, it's literally uh, annoyed that every killer except the movie killers and get 9,000. Yeah. I get you, man. Yeah, it's rough. Yeah, license killers. In fact, there's so many like good perks and stuff like that tied to license killers and survivors is kind of unfortunate. I mean, barbecue and chili was so like on every killer's build for such a long time that the devs actually made it base kit or uh, available to all killers despite uh, purchasing it, which is pretty nice. But they have not done that since, which is unfortunate. You figure at this rate they might as well do it with like uh, decisive strike, but nope, not yet behavior be making weird decisions sometimes sorry if you should say my shit's always so long it's because I'm an artist dude I understand I understand it's a-ok -okay, brother it's all good brother all right let's test out the build indubitalis see what we have here gills are always an odd one for sure they're nice on heavier builds because they allow them to, you know, quick boost and quick succession, preferably getting some nice distance to break FCS lock, although you definitely need a Coral Gen or Santa to have that nice capacity because you'll be burning lots and lots of energy. But uh, yeah, but I think his other stats are just kind of, yeah, assault boost, nothing, melee thrust, nothing. Uh, yeah, that's rough. Y'all heard about the unknown killer drama? Oh, really? So happy they responded. The uh, happy they responded. The trans people in DVD even made it look realistic. Ah, I see. That's pretty dope. Yeah, the unknown was definitely uh, was definitely an interesting uh, killer. There's uh, was not its ability is very strange compared to its aesthetic, but hey. You think about Silent Legion, mm. mixed with Doc's perks. You forget what it's, it's called. Uh, I think you're thinking about fucking what's it called? I know what you're talking about. The one that shrinks your terror radius. Ah, uh, what's it called? Yeah, I forget what it's called, but yeah, I know what you mean. Alright. Oh god, look at that melee distance. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god, go uh, and scare him then. Make him fuck off, I guess. Very strange, very strange. Alright, let's see what we do. It's the one with his eyes out. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Unnerving presence, maybe? No. Maybe? Maybe. No, I feel like it's something like, uh, hmm. Damn. 
I'll be thinking about that one for a while. Speaking of DBD, you gotta try trolling with the doctor. Just stand still near a generator. Survivors will think you're one of the illusions. Yeah, I've seen that. Seen us spooking jukes uh, do that. That was pretty good. Pretty dope. Monitor and abuse. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yep, yep, yep. I get you, I get you. That is the one indeed. All right, so for weapons. Uh, Majestic. I mean, yeah, if you want this to be kind of your uh, a bazooka as your you know, stagger build up, that's A-OK. -okay. Um, might as well run something like the Javelin Beta to build some stagger alongside of it. Um, shield is fine. Shield and melee play if that's your thing. That's a okay. Uh, got the VP, uh, VP for the, for the D hid. Keep the mine of core. Um, align your legs. We'll upgrade these to HAL for at least for the time being. 30 speed is not bad. We're gonna get a lot faster though because we're about to switch to Alula. Because now we can actually close the distance. Nice, even Steven. Um, actually, now we actually need some accuracy so. We'll just rock with, I guess we can just rock with the walls. It doesn't really matter. We need some accuracy to land our bazookas, but not a whole lot. So it doesn't matter too much. Um, Keep the coral gen because it is a play style. Um, Pulse armor. And then you pretty much got it. Although actually we have six speed to spare, which means we can totally run the barrel head. Or the barrel. Nice you, nice you, nice you. All right, we should have some good luck with this type of build. Actually, we have three speed. Could we run? We could. My Delta. Oh, yeah, bye. Oh, yeah, man. I should have something here. I doubt we could get away and keep him 330 with the Quan G. Yeah, nah, unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right, there you go. Should be being chilling. Silent Chainsaw Billy are terrifying. Our Billy's are terrifying. Oh, yeah, dude. Good old Billy with Tinkerers. Just fucking absolutely snipe whoever's on the gen. Good times. The drifting movement in this game is just too cool. Yeah, the sliding around is pretty nice. The superior movement it is most epic sauce. They got those heelys, bro. They're epic sauce. Jackpot. I would agree. Explosives, you beloved. I, I would agree. First time he doesn't flip the build pieces around by 360 degrees. Hey, man. Happens. Funny chainsaw. Dude, speed limiter, Billy, dude. OP. Absolutely cracked on the stonks. Oh, big chillin'. About the same speed threshold. A little slower, but again, doesn't matter. Plus, now we have better assault boost or actual assault boost. And oh, uh, yeah, superior weaponry. Very heat, very heat. All right, I believe we have Tristan, who is next up in line. YouTube is bugging out or bugging. It only shows you one person looking at the stream. There is a problem. You're worth four. Understandable, understandable. All right, Karasawa, double LCS. Very good, very good. All right, good old Karasawa. Double LCS, my beloved. Do love me some double LCS. All right, what else? Plasma thrower. Head and legs. Oh, get ourselves a spider. Let's go. Love me some tetra legs. Especially in 3v3s. Or pretty much only in 3v3s. I don't really have a normal build outside of 3v3s that use tetra. Uh, barrel head and legs. And chest. There's a barrel chest. There's no barrel chest. You mean the um, 40A chest? Oh, Hal Chest. I see, I see. Never mind. Gotcha, gotcha. Hal Chest, Ephemera Arms. Nice, good selection indeed. 
SPD booster. All right, now we're dipping into a little bit of foreign territory. Oh, there we go. Got to scroll up a little bit. Got bared. I check it's doing my fun. There, what else we got? SPD booster, Walt FCS, and Coral. Nice. Pulse armor. Very nice. That to be the build indeed. Must agree. You just mainly wanted to be able to run those weapons or similar stuff. You keep the car sour. No, I got you, got you. Be faster, be nice. Nice, nice, nice. Gotcha, gotcha. The millisecond bro said next. Hey, man. Car sour heat. He do be had it typed up. Hell yeah, that's the way to go. Alright, let's save this as a build and get her going. Right. Let's see what we got. <laughs> hey, see, Crow will call dibs when they choose to. Mustn't rush the process. Alright. So I imagine it's getting in range, which we have a Walt FCS, which is nice. But we're going to be using the hammer, so close range is more or less our range anyway. But yep, charge up the corner of Salwa. Nice and dandy like. Get dodge in, fully charge car Salwa. Use the LCSs if they don't break stagger immediately, and then just fucking shred them with hammer and LCSs. I could be pretty fucking meaty, pretty mighty. Alright, um, I mean. Melee is definitely a choice, and I wouldn't really choose much else. Actually, mm, uh, actually, on Tetra, it's hard. Because you often burn a lot of energy, despite even having Coral. Um, hmm. Sorry, because I think, like, Explosive Thrower often works better on a Tetra versus a Hammer. Because Hammers for, are most Melees, um, except for, like, Moonlights and Oscillator. Their weakness is Verticality, often. Which is rough. Say if they're like directly below you or above you, the hammers will often just not hit most of the time anyway. Um, it has these weird moments. So that can be kind of rough. Although obviously being able to move around while swinging it out is also dope. But you can do the same thing with the explosive thrower and you can do it a lot more often, which is heat, to build up a lot more stagger and to keep them in stagger. And matching that with the LCSs could mean fucking some meaty stuff, you know? You really dislike hex play thing? I see, I see. Is the xenomorph still busted as fuck? Uh, no. Not really, no. The uh, tentacle, or the tail anyway, not tentacle. Think about it, Nemesis. The tail itself is a pretty tight hitbox, much like uh, Wesker's grab. So, you need to try to hit it at least. And I'm not sure if it's got patch or not, but if you crouch at a window, you're pretty much unhittable by the tail, which is pretty neat. But, you know, the fact that you can just put down uh, flamethrowers everywhere to take them out of their ability pretty often, pretty heat. I would still think that uh, Xenomorph is just a better demo. You teleport it on the map, you don't have to put down portals, although you don't get to necessarily choose where your portals are, so I guess that's a drawback, but they're already preset, so that's nice. I believe you have to be in your power to go through them, though, which is kind of rough, but, you know. Against uh, most teams, or at least in most random matches, you probably will be in your power through most of the match because not all of them will take the time to use the, expl uh, the flamethrowers. But I don't know, my. Plus, I'm pretty sure you can snipe the throwers with your tail itself, so. You know, you know. What you usually do is charge uh, your weapon and kick them and hit with the hammer. I get you, I get you. Kicking the hammer true combo is neat. Then unload. Gotcha, gotcha. You creeping? Hell yeah, dude. That's what's good. Welcome to Humble Abode. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do. 
Well, let's take this basic weapon, or not basic, but let's take the initial weapon loadout just to optimize the build purely because this itself as a whole can work. I mean, kicking the hammer, that's always neat. As you said, Karasawa Supercharged is definitely a play style and the double LCSs overall just uh, are goaded. Uh, keeping the Veralex for sure. SPD, if we can run it, I uh, would love Coral. Coral, I believe Coral Booster to be the best booster for Heavy Tetra in 1v1 scenarios, but the Brazil to be better in 3v3, only because, you know, the assault boost speed and energy consumption allowing you to get back to the fight if you died, or just get around to help out your teammates and just apply aggression, especially if you're high DPS. But the amount of mobility you get in hover mode when using the coral booster on tetra is mighty and definitely worth it in a 1v1 scenario next the ocellus so we have our max uh accuracy sniping with the car sawa even on medium range even with max uh fcs lock isn't all too often the travel time is very fast but against any other like you're only really going to land it against a heavier build as long as they know to dodge at least twice at a time before you shoot then you're really not going to hit it but if you close in the distance make some kicks with shooting it all the good stuff you should be fine. Hell, you can kick, hammer, LCS to stun, and then just fucking unload with the fully charged Karasawa as a punish, and that could be devastating. Coral Gen is definitely the only gen you can run. Honestly, on a build like this, you'd probably be better running terminal armor, even in 1v1 scenarios, as you will definitely have the DPS to pull off the comeback. But obviously, it's a little more of a playstyle. You uh, could always run either or. In a 3v3, always run terminal. Uh, pulse armor is pretty much useless in 3v3. Because when you stand there to pop it, people are just going to fucking unload on you. Especially a coordinated team. And it's going to be like it didn't even exist. It's going to get shredded so fast. Yeah. So I'll definitely run terminal on this. Uh, What else for parts? Arms, I really wouldn't change. I would try to change the core. We can indeed. What's the loss to gain? Um... Honestly, yeah, we only lose a bit of health. We gain a lot more stability. Definitely worth it. It's not like we need the output. It's not really helping us right now anyway. Um, can't run 40A shortly, right? Oh, we can actually run. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Hell yeah. Much more worth it. Uh, arms probably couldn't run. Maybe actually we have a little bit of load, but probably an EN. Yeah, no. Nah. Femur is going to be the best for that as well. And of course, Veral Head. So yeah, something like this could definitely run it. Go with Celis, because that's the range we're going to be in. Coral Booster, so we get a lot more mobility. As we see a scene here. Fucking shoot. You knock a thum. So the idea is that you can charge at the Karasawa. Go in. Hit the kick. Dodge. Hammer. Oh. Absolutely shred him. Being chillin'. Yeah, something like that could be pretty. Weapons, uh, Iridium, Songbirds, I gotcha. We'll get to that in due time, indeed. <laughs> hey, man, autism's pretty badass. You take that out of context. You just finished New Game Plus Plus, and now to i see i see you're gonna go try pvp very nice hell yeah pvp is a good time uh the campaign doesn't really prepare you for pvp as a whole which is fine new new challenge new adventure but it does teach you how to properly make builds kinda uh and pilot them so yeah you're up to a good start Trust me, PvPs right now is going to shatter your dreams. Nah, I don't think so. It's all about the mindset, man. If you go into PvP acknowledging that you're probably going to die, but honestly, that's kind of the part of the fun, me thinks. You go in with a build, you die, you figure out what's wrong, you build around it, and you just keep doing that until your build evolves to perfection. And then uh, you also learn how to play it pretty well as you go on. So it's good times, good times indeed. Plus, you just use a really good build, or else, yeah, it's a build that's really good in a specific niche and you bring into ranked. I think you'll have a fun time. At least that's been in my experience. Not using a uh, necessarily meta build. In fact, it's I haven't seen anyone use the type of build I was using, but it's a very casual experience. I went through, actually, I'm not done with B, but I almost went through entire D of B so far um, flawlessly, which is epic sauce indeed.
They're on PC though. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Can't wait to fight y'all. Hell yeah, dude. Pretty matchmaking doesn't put you against builds that uh perfectly counter yours every time. Yeah, that can be rough. That's been your X rank matches. I see, I see. That is rough. Well, that's gotta that's gotta push you to make a build that can uh, preferably out deal all builds. Indubitably, you get good uh, good rushdown weapons and DPS shoulder weapons as well, and then build your build around uh, being able to sh uh, purge the back weapons to have enough speed to catch rats, and uh, build a thin enough frame to keep up speed to outmatch most high DPS lads, and then uh, build an archetype like that. At least that's what I've done, and it has worked out so far. But yeah, nah. you've been in A rank, nice. Get you, get you. I'll be in A rank pretty soon here. Just haven't had the motivation to get on again. Although it was only a couple days ago when I actually did, but then we lost power and stuff like that. So yeah. But yeah, what's it called? Um, yeah, no. My biggest gripe with ranked right now so far isn't even like how ranked works or anything. Well, kinda. I keep matchmaking uh, with like the same three to four people over and over again. And although it's kind of a good thing because you know I often win and they don't change their build at all, so it's just more or less a guaranteed win every time which doesn't feel super great, but also uh, some get toxic after a little bit. And uh, it's pretty funny in hindsight, like later, but at the time it's just like, man, dude, come on, it's ranked, chill. Uh, it's sad, but hey, it is what it is. Right, yeah, let's color this baby and move on to the next one. Indubitably. Corey Gal, Requiem, Indubilis. Alright. Around the same speed, won't really make a difference. And our durability is a lot higher. Very hit, very heat. Same weapon loadout, so it should function very similar to the same. Indeed. Hell yeah. Anytime, brother. Anytime, brother. I do be the greenie. I do be the greenie knights. The greeny lad. Alright, next up, next up, what have we? First come, first served, I believe. Oh, yeah, Green, I was the guy in Moby's server that made the uh, Reforge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, it was pretty dope, dude. Most epic sauce in the play. Yeah, we gotta get to ourselves to another Reforge later tonight as well, which I did not make a post for because of, again, Snowstorm. Very not epic sauce. So, uh, yeah, y'all will yell if you wish to vote right here in chat later when we get to it, which uh, Vesper would take a look at next, indeed. It's really good and ranked until the Devil Sims come out. Yeah, Devil Sims are pretty hard to play against. They're very strong, indeed. Why did your build become the base template? Just cause, dude. Why not, bro? Because you're in here every Monday, probably. Hell yeah, dude. Master Frenchman. Damn. I do reckon I put a share code a mile back in the chat so you shall post it or send it again. Hell yeah, that would be most appreciated. I will take a look at darks there first, methinks. Nice. Let's get the download code rocking. Now yeah, what do we got? YJQ. RMF. Eight CF. Five eight F. Very nice. Oh, 
I must have misput it. A misinput? MF. MF Doom. Uh, are you an Xbox mate? Ah, oh, there we go. Zimmerman shotgun. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Or Zimmerman chainsaw? What? Zimmerman chainsaw. I see. Very heat, very heat. Alright, dual multi of six. Dual six cell. Vada heat, Vada heat. Lander V3. Yeah, I get you, get you. Lander C3. Head and core, gotcha. Basho arms and record legs. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh wait, no, I'm, I'm making it anyways. Oh, no, 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 there we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I see. Oh, this building crows. Bill, indubitably. I got confused. Gonna rush because your match about to start in DBD. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> what are your opinions on a pulse shield launcher? Oh god. You got it at two wheelchairs that uh, used it, and it was a nightmare to even hit them. I see, I see. Uh, <laughs> I t <laughs> pulse shield launcher. I think it's definitely a niche weapon. Uh, if played right, theoretically, can be pretty tough to overcome, but I don't think the... <laughs> uh, better be played maybe on a lamb, but at the same time, if you're a rushdown against a wheelchair, then I can see some uh, trouble. Um, even as distance, yeah, you probably just have to just get above them, because obviously, you know, wheelchair, they're ground-bound. Otherwise, they're not they're going to be super epic sauce, but you know. Wish you luck, because you're using your main Death Slinger. I see, I see. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Alright. Let's, uh... We'll put this on pause. We'll, uh... Try to download your build again. Alright, let's see what we got here. YJQ, again... YJQ. Oh, I gotta get on my phone here. Yo, my doll, welcome back. All right, here, what's it called? Not the hell. I put the share kit. There we go. Share kit disappeared for a second there. Very unfortunate indeed. All right, RMF. Six C. F fifty eight F. There we are. Mm, very nice. Very heat, very heat, very heat.
Goodbye all. Have a good one, mate. Good old Chad. All right, let's see what we got here for build. And the good old heavy Tetra Man. Tetra Man. All right, a, a Javelin and a fucking uh, Majestic. Very neato, very neato indeed. All right, I would say, yeah. Replace the Earshot with the Javelin. Um, as the javelin makes for a better direct hit adjustment weapon anyway, as a stagger punish, which is always dope. And that way we can change both majestics to Quan G's because of their amazing fire rate and similar to basic, uh, basically the same damage as the majestics themselves, but way better in, or about double, a uh, little less of the damage, two times, the, or 1.5 times the uh, reload, which is epic, which makes a huge difference in, uh, in battle anyway, which is great. Love your Armored Requiem videos, by the way. Oh, thank you, mate. I appreciate you immensely. Gonna grab dinner real quick. Hell yeah, brother. You do what you gotta do. Get that sauce in the nails. Our jab is definitely better as a direct hit adjustment weapon. Um, also, you get to keep the mid-range. Honestly, use your big, your thickness to your advantage. Because the enemies want to stay pretty far away from you. Unless they're a rush down, which then, well, you know, they eat bazookas and eat tetra kicks. If they want to stay a little farther away, Javelin Beta will eat them up. Meaning you pair that into uh, your two shot of bazookas to stagger them and then switch to your Javelin and absolutely fry them on direct hit. Absolutely epic. Interesting as you go Majestic Earshot then to Jav. I see. Well, this should be a lot more consistent. Uh, the Quan versus the both the Majestic and the uh, Earshot. A lot less downtime. Like, I was doing, uh, helping Chatter doing a bunch of tank testing, and oh man, these make a difference. These are great. Alright, we're going so thick anyway, we might as well take a little less, 200 less AP, but a lot more stability, as well as overall defenses. Um, much like the last build, honestly, most heavy Tetras can favor a type of big ol' um, overhaul. Burzel Booster? I mean, yeah, if you want to get to the fight, for sure. Probably gonna need it. Um... Although in one must one v one scenarios, although yeah, I mean this type of build itself, even with Brizzle Booster, you're probably not going to catch any type of rat. So you might as well just go full out into your desired fighting, which is going to be medium to close range anyway. So Coral Booster for sure. I mean, if you find that you really need the extra speed and you can really make it work, then yeah, for sure. But in most scenarios, the Coral Booster is going to help you out a little more, as you're actually going to be able to uh, dodge around other tanks that may out tank you, which would be rough. Um, let's see. And a 3v3 scenarios, anyway. Let's see here, though. By the way, Brizzle and uh, Coral. Best two boosters. You can definitely alternate between the two. Walt FCS. Yeah, might as well. We're using Bazookas. Coral Gen, for sure. Pulse Armor. Uh, yeah, might as well. Although in 3v3, it's always terminal. That's just rule of the way. Uh, yeah, let's optimize core parts. Um, we could go probably Ephemera Arms and then Tang Core. Maybe. We can. Let's go. Hell yeah, we're better off for it too. Could we go back? Nah. Unfortunate. Is what it is though. Solid loadout. Brizzle was a leftover from this prototype. I get you. I get you. You know, so we'd love to do a tank build yourself. I see. However, you're. Uh, <laughs> I see. I see. Yeah, the slow speed is kind of rough. If you learn how to properly uh, shuffle with the tank, though, you can get some nice speeds. But still, it is a slower type of... Uh, it's a tank, man. Tank your play style. All right. Um. Yeah, Walt. Core Gen. Core Booster. Good old all NGI, baby. Um. Yeah, nothing else really I change. For this type of loadout, you should be being chilling. Yeah. Hell yeah. Very cool color palette, by the way, must say. Very epic armored decor. Being chillin'. 
Alright. Oh, almost deleted. That would have been epic. Alright, next up, next up. Finally, someone who recognizes the Quan Gs. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. Them and Iridiums are mega underrated. I haven't played around with the Iridiums too much, but uh, yeah, Quan Gs are most epic in their reload time, making them very worth it if your build can run it. They're quite heavy, much heavier than the uh, Majestics, but if you can run them, worth it. Much like a lot of things in this game. You don't know why, but your shot Torino is a combo. You have a consistent time on staggering. Hey, man. Honestly, the most the weapons and loadouts you are most uh, comfortable with and consistent with is always going to be your best play. But I suppose getting used to and getting consistent with a superior one is also quite epic sauce. But hey, whatever works, works. And that's a fact. Show is your Swinburne reference. Gotcha. Wait. No. Right, let's take a look at mix build indeed. Alright, weapons. HML G2. I'm assuming that's the box missile. Yep. Box missile, iridium, songbirds. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Little gem. Radium grenade launcher, I see. Some birds, plural? Yep. Or oh, I think the some birds itself is just some birds because it's two and one anyway. Let's see. Some birds are your shot. Gotcha. Alright, what about parts? Frame, barrel, main dish. Or viral, barrel, viral. However you wish. Main dish. Tang. Wait, tank gang or like yeah, there we go. Vera legs. Alright, what about inner parts, brother? Oh, inner's mule, mule. Oh boy. Oh boy. Good old mule. <laughs> well, we love that upward EN consumption, but no speed. It's rough. It's rough out here. Uh what else are inners? Mule, uh V E twenty one A. Gotcha, gotcha. And what else? NGI. Big Coral. Nice. Uh, I guess, well, expansion, I guess, in itself doesn't really matter that much, but hell yeah. All right. Let's see what we got. You on PC. Curious to hear your take on... Your main AC been massively torn on the frame. Been torn on the frame for a month. I see. I'm on Xbox, so you won't be able to give me the share code. But you can, of course, share the part list itself. Indeed. Hi, love of the vids. Oh, nice. Can you uh, say happy B day to my friend, Armored Dong? Hell yeah, dude! Happy birthday, my friend. Happy birthday, Armored Dong. You are epic lad. <laughs> I appreciate the love, brother. I appreciate you. I must say, your reforge is one hell of an aggressive buff to the uh, old floating weapons bay. Ah, hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. I'll hit you with the list. Weapons. Gotcha, gotcha. You may want to save the list as a, a whole here in a moment. You won't, won't want it to, uh, to get buried under discussion. As well as you could put the list itself in the uh, as a comment in the most recent Requiem video. Or just save it until uh, yeah we're done with this build. As I wouldn't want it again to be buried under discussion. And you have to retype it or I have to scroll up. Either one I'm down for. But yeah. Uh, Alright so for this build. <laughs> this is certainly interesting. I haven't played around with the Iridium too much so good old grenade launcher versus Bazooka. I feel like Bazooka is always going to win that fight but Hey man, I'm down to learn today. That travel time isn't great, paired with songbirds as well. Oof. That sound though, don't hear that a lot. Pretty interesting. Alright, let's think. So, 
Uh, songbirds themselves, not that great. We have missiles in the one hand anyway, so we could definitely afford to switch this to, say, the Quan G to get that constant fire, as well as just any bazooka is honestly better than songbirds nowadays. The travel time of the songbirds is not great, and they have, like, I don't think any proxy debt, which is rough. Um, Earshot itself, not that bad, but again, you'd be kind of better off with something like a Fasan if you could run it, as they would do more damage on direct hit, as if the full AoE of the Fasan, charge Fasan anyway, lands, you'd be doing a lot more damage than the uh, Earshot, with a similar reload time, at least base reload time. It'd take a little extra time to fully charge it up by ear. Indubilis. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, barrel head. Magic score is heat for that stability. Stability, indeed. Um, we'll see what the defense ratio is like if we switch to the uh, frame framage we've been using all along. The mule's an interesting one. Uh, would you like to elaborate on it? You have a sexy voice, Mr. Core. Why, thank you. <laughs> I don't uh, fully believe that but uh, um, that's pretty Ricky right must say you don't know how to build Tetrax I see I understand I thought it was like some specific hidden tech you see but you know um, mule um, I mean they exist they have max I think they're honestly just a meme booster honestly Max melee attack Ian consumption, but little to no melee actual thrust. That's awesome. That's fucking sick. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just uh, try our best to run uh, Coral Booster or Brizzle. Either one would be heat. Uh, our FCS, we don't need all that long range as none of our weapons are really long range and or effective at that range. So we'll go Walt so we can land our Bazooka. Uh, our bazookas as they will become uh, more often. Coral Gen always. Paul Sommer just for overall usage. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll go to the good old epic frame as this really is just one of the best I could think of, honestly. Um, let's think. So Iridium, pretty heat. How's it compared to something like the Quan Chi or Majestic? Reload time of the Quan is actually better. That's insane. The damage is also night and day. Damn. I mean, the weight is definitely to be considered, but we're not using uh, we're a heavyweight anyway, so we don't really care about our weight in that sense. So, Quan G it is, unfortunately. Thank you, Chunky Boys. Hell yeah. Definitely look forward to seeing... Your old floaty bay uh, fencing is more aggressive at Reforge. Uh, we hope you set up wins because it does have a fun, consistent staggered time window. Oh, without shield. I see, I see. I get you. Yeah, for sure, man. Chunky boys are indeed epic. Um, We could... Hmm, so we have two outlets for the your shot. So on Tetra. You could either A, run Fasan, which actually we can run, which is kind of shocking. Honestly, kind of worth it for the, uh, yeah, honestly, not bad. Missiles, though. Constant missiles in the hand is not bad. Um, although, honestly, it'd be so much better if we could pull it off. Could we pull off double Quan and then have missiles on the back is just like a multi. Yeah, I think we could. Although, uh, actually, 6L, nah, let's try something more like Jav. Because, again, it will probably be at a more medium range anyway because of our just uh, our weight and how much we can catch up. As well as most people wouldn't want to fight us up close. Unless, again, they are also tanky boy. But even if they're tanky boy, chances are they won't even have the distance to dodge the Jav anyway. So, yeah, something like this could definitely work. I feel like it's very similar to what we built before, but, you know. So, you could, let's wait till Stagger goes down. Hop up, hop in the cut. Charge up Fasan, fire up just or fire up Javelin, try to stagger with bazookas, and then just absolutely go dump them. Or DPS dump them. Chillin'. 
comes back in no time. Is already back, which is great. Yeah, the speed at which they come back is always so nuts. Greeny, would a snail's chest be good on this? Uh, funny enough, it used to be my go-to, the 40A, um, which is definitely a solid core. Get a lot more AP out of it. Um, not as much stability. In fact, stability is quite the uh, the distance. But the main thing that's dope about this core is it allows you to have a full katana generator output, which is nice because it allows you to run other parts and more energy-based weapons. But also, yeah, the health to defense and aptitude stability ratio is uh, superior, methinks. So I definitely opt for this one over the other. Has a shitload of AP, indeed. But again, yeah, the difference between AP and uh, stability loss and gain is mighty. Dropped your own, uh, you dropped your own uh, entry on the last uh, AC Requiem. Very nice, very heat, very heat. You're gonna send a build you sent to Rubicos Customs. I see, I see. One of the newer HG series Model 11. I see, I see. Very heat, very heat. Along with a like, because you got your favorite melee build from it. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Thank you. I appreciate you. Me sees, me sees. I. Green, you legit forgot about my build. I did not forget. We were making it. But then I, I got sidetracked. I wasn't actually meaning to make it then. I was meaning to download... Uh, Dark's build, but I thought Dark put it in a part list, and I got confused, but I will be building it right after this, which we're done with this, so, better heat. Definitely agree on the TQ core. Hell yeah, dude. With that high AS, personally think the medium, um, legs are superior to Veril. I get you, I get you. I'll get you. I agree, brother. All right. Been chilling. A little bit less stability. A lot more AP. Defenses are looking... Uh, defenses are looking similar in regards, anyway. But yeah, weapons are looking excellent, though. Very heat, very heat. All right, next up, next up. Mr. Crow, what be your build? Sorry if you have to repost it again. I remember it was Zim, Chainsaw, let's see if I can remember as I go along. Zim, Chainsaw, Double... Six. Double Six Cell, and then the Frame. What was the Frame? I don't know. I don't know, I didn't think it would get this far. What was the Frame, my friend? What were it, I wonder? I'm waiting on the part list from good old Crow. And then we'll build it up and make it epic. If it ain't already epic, which so far is pretty epic. It, dude, over overburden we ballin'. Actually, I should probably scroll up and find it. Let's see what here we got here. Surely it's not too far up. There it is. We found it. Alright, Zim, Chainsaw, Dual, Six Cell, Melander, C3 Head, and Core. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Melander C Head and Core. Basho Arms. And Wrecker Legs. That's it. Good old Wrecker Boy. What about innards? 
Google. About Sentai. Assault armor. Oh, there it is. Sorry, girl, you had to repaste that. I find it. I scrolled up. Alright. Looking good. Alright. Let's see what we got here. And honestly, it's pretty solid loadout itself. Um, even the fugal to get the uh, distance, but 290 main speed. Oh, we're going to have a rough time chasing these people down. Um, because of that, honestly, as long as we stagger close anyway, the distance we need won't really be much of a matter. Plus, we go all the way up nearly 310. That's huge. Definitely worth it. Um, as we go with Celis, because we have Bastion Arms, we, tend to, we basically need as much uh, max FCS as possible in deep to play. Uh, Santai, uh, we can barely run it, honestly, so something... Oh, wow, we can run an 20 c at a really comfortable rate and 330 speed? Gorted. Although, of course, you want to be a little more aggressive. You'd probably be better off with uh, the NGI, and we'll be at 310 anyway. Not too bad. We'll see how this reflects once we're done with the rest of the frame work and maybe weaponry changeage. Um, definitely change the head to at least BP44D. Core to either stick with the Melander or Mind Alpha. Looks like Melander it's going to have to be, at least for now. Yeah. That's if we want to stick in 330 anyway. Although, actually, let's change the legs to Hal. Which record are nice, but they're really heavy, which puts a lot of strain on our booster, which we want to definitely have a nice, good boost this dance. So we'll either go with how legs or mind alpha legs, depending on how fast we want to go. 330 is definitely going to be our main goal. So with that, we can now run mind alpha. And with all that, we can probably change this to, yep, mind alpha as well. All right. And we have six speed to spare. So Vero has in our realm a possibility. Very nice. Uh, shoulder mounts now. Now pretty much anything that builds up high amounts of stagger. You could, of course, run the missiles, kicks, and zim into chainsaw. Or you could run Explosive Thrower, Zim, and Chainsaw, although it can be a little tricky because if you break stack with the Chainsaw or the Explosive Thrower, you won't have enough time to switch to the Chainsaw and get the Stagger, so that can be a little rough. So maybe it's just better not to, although actually, yeah, you know what, this is what we do. There we go. Oof, 330, 329, which means all we need to do is change head and we're chilling. Double Zim, baby. Should be enough time between Double Zim. Actually, I know there's enough time because it used to be uh, the Brute to build one of me first uh, builds. Which I gotta get back to making build videos. I'm almost done with my rank to climb once I do that. I'll be making the videos on uh, builds I perfect in there. So, yeah. Shoot missiles. Go in. Probably wouldn't be enough time there because we used to kick the stagger, but. Let's see. Probably get out of time there. The only thing with this, I uh, have the VP20C's capacity is pretty nice, but it's not insanity. So you have to be a little careful with uh, you know, not being able to run out your gen. So if running out of the gen becomes a bit of a problem, I mean, the recharge is like instant, so it doesn't matter that much. But if it becomes too much of a problem, you could always opt for the uh, coral gen. 310 does look like a Far Cry from 330, but trust me, mate, it is enough. Especially with the Illegal Booster and Assault Boost, you'll definitely uh, cut the distance. And with Double Zims, honestly, Double Zims are just so goddamn reliable, man. You can definitely ditch these back weapons. You'll be around like 340 speed, 350 basically, over uh, 480 Assault Boost speed, and you'll be able to catch up to uh, rats. And as long as you play patiently with your Zim shots, you definitely be able to hit them. So honestly, with that all in mind, 310 it is. Our distance, or not distance, our uh, dodge time is a little slower, but it's definitely uh, worth it, me thinks, for the absolute capacity. Alright, but we can probably barely make that with a kick to break stagger, but if we just go full zims, the missiles maybe even, double zims, that should definitely be enough time to get the stagger and the uh, punish. So hell yeah, looking good, looking good to me, man. Little tried and true Zimmy build or well chainsaw. Chainsaw rushdown build. 
Very epic indeed, methinks. Nice, nice, hell yeah, man. Right, we are faster in the same realm of durability. Yeah, nice. Chainsaw! We love the chainsaw. Chainsaw's great. I prefer the chance to overpile bunker despite the bunk being very epic sauce still. Although I yeah, I feel like I've yeah, I can also take either or, but I do enjoy me a good old chance. Ah, the chance you Alright, alright, alright. Alright, next up, next up. First come, first serve. Although I believe G has there's has uh, has a build in the most recent requiem video, so I suppose we would take that one. Take a look at that one anyway. Where can you submit a build? Um, and would you have time to tweak it? Oh, for sure, man. Uh, I mean, yeah, we've only been uh, streaming for like an hour. Usually we stream for like uh, three or four. So definitely have time. Uh, what's it called? You can either leave the part lists here in the comments the share code if you're on PC, or the part list either way, depending on your uh, preferred method. Um, or you can leave it as a comment in the most recent Requiem video. Or you can join the Xbox Fight Club Discord and put it in the uh, Requiem Workshop, indubitably. And those be the methods, indeed. Alright. ourselves a build here in the most recent Requiem video. Let's see what we get. AC light storm. Very heat very heat. Alright, LR or two LRs. So we got ourselves a lighter laser boy build. Very heat very heat. Let's build this up real quick. Alright, double LR. Vertical plasma? I believe so. 70 VPM. Yes, yes, yes. 61 PS. That's a pulse shield, right? Yep. What else we got? VP44D. Hell yeah. We be an optimal in his biash. Lamin Guy, Knock Alright, now we're going down another route. <laughs> Very heat. Uh, VP442. Gotcha. Or 422. SPD, hell yeah. PO5, Volkermann. Got that medium range assist. BE20B. Damn, get. Oh god, our EN load. Yeah, we're even on. We have. Oh, we even have a Lamengeier core. Yeah, it's not enough. Jesus Christ. Alright, no mention of expansion. That's all. Alright. What y'all saying? Somehow you always get your reaction from my double Zimmerman bills. Hell yeah, dude. Or from your Zimmerman bills. Hell yeah, man. For sure you'll send it over in a minute. Nice. You have more success landing Chanta than Pile Bunker? Yeah. And stun baton, oddly enough. I see. Yeah, the pile bunker is uh, it's a play style on a, all on its own. As well as the chainsaw, but yeah, chainsaw is definitely easier to land, methinks. Alright. So, although it is nice we can run this weapon, or run this loadout on uh, the 20B, the max energy fire spec gen. Thing is, our current EN load is about maxed out. I wouldn't be surprised if it's just like a point uh, before a EN shortfall. But the closer that is to EN shortfall, um, the less speed, the slower the recharge of your generator's uh, stamina will be once it starts regenerating anyway, which is uh, rough. Which I'm, supply I'm surprised it's that close considering our weaponry. Uh, although actually it's probably the shield that's giving us a lot of strain because these rifles themselves aren't too crazy. In fact, if we were to 
shrink these down to the pistols, we might be better off, but not by a lot. So we'll definitely have to tweak with that in the second tier. We'll see if we're going. Oh, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Big chillin'. Alright. You don't know why, but YouTube keeps uh, breaking your stream. Oh, it's YouTube ads. I see, I see. Uh, it is uh, mighty unfortunate. I do not know how to fix that, unfortunately. It is what it is, unfortunately. Yes, yes, yes. Indubitably. You have been wrestling with the efficiency ever since you hit A rank? I see. The battle between AS and E is ner I see, I see, never ending. Yeah. Well, and my practice of running into a very similar issue is just to, you know, lessen your gen damage. It is a lot of damage, but it's not everything. It's better to have uh, more accuracy in hitting your shots rather than having less accuracy, but whenever you do hit the shots, they do a lot of damage. Um, at least in the grand scheme of things. So, first things first, we're definitely going to have to... <laughs> Unfortunately, sacrifice a lot for our gen, but honestly, second best, not too far off. So, we'll deal with that. Next up, next up. Uh, let's think. Shield is heat. Uh, if we can upgrade these to the LRAs, that'd be heat, but speed's honestly going to be a lot of, uh, it's going to be a bugger. So, honestly, keeping them as LR is probably going to be our better bet. Although, what's their effective range, really? Uh, 200 meters, 260, not bad, hell yeah. Rock with that. Uh, recoil, 18. All right, so I mean, Basho is not out of the option, out of the realm of possibility, but probably wouldn't find the most accuracy with it either. So, uh, I mean, yeah, nah, not gonna be possible. Uh, Costa, we'll see what we do for optimizing with the arms in a second. Um, core. I want to go with Alba. Yeah, we're still in 60, which is nice. Uh, legs, maybe Alba as well. I can't, actually, damn. Feels bad. Mm. If we could run... Honestly, yeah, still in 60. Fuck yeah. I take it. Alright, and keeping the shield. Uh, what else can we find that's better in 60? I think these will work. No. <laughs> Bastion would be heat, but the recoil will probably not be enough, yeah, especially considering the rapid fire. Alright, tool arms it will have to be then. Alright, nice. We got some pretty good EN efficiency. Definitely keep the SPD booster. Might as well keep the PO5. Although you could get away totally with the Walt, and you may want to switch to it if uh, you tend to be in those ranges a little more often, considering you know, the, dis the difference is not very high. And we're not, it's not like we're running Basho where we have no uh, firearm spec. We pretty much have baseline. Um, Yeah, I wouldn't really switch to the LRs for much, considering it's quite the uh, venture to go LRAs. You could, in theory, get a lot more success in... Switching these legs up to like, um, Lamengeier, but changing the legs of an AC is honestly one of the more last resort metamorphoses I like to go through with the builds, as I feel like the legs are the soul, so I don't really want to change them. But personally, if I were to use a build like this, I would use Lamb Legs, taking full advantage of the fact that I'd be able to put on stronger weaponry and, uh, yeah, use the inherent speed of hover mode with the Lamb Legs to my ultimate advantage. Uh, but that's just me. So I guess I would say, would you be willing to change to lamb legs for superior weaponry, or are you more uh, akin to, you know, want to keep the same exact flow of bipedal? I guess we'll, here, we'll save this as the version we have right now, and then I'll make a um, other version. You can kind of see what you like in between. They might check out the lamb legs. They definitely need to fit on the B. Huh? Maybe. 
The Lamborghini, as Jack Black once said. Lamborghini. So we'll see what we can do here. Good old lamb legs. Alright, so if we switch to lamb legs, our Ian's not looking at great, but honestly, that's, that's alright. We might have to switch to Coral, just so we can... Honestly, Coral themselves on lamb legs, not that bad. Lots of capacity, a lot of time in the air, as well as you can use the charge attacks, I believe, of the LRs to uh, stay airborne. Any charge attack that can make you stop in place while falling is great because it means, you know, you're in the air longer, which means your gen recharges because it's coral and you get it all back. It's down Lee. All right, with that being the case, uh, keep the javelin for sure. Shield, it kind of becomes a little unnecessary, but I guess if you like the shield play for sure. If not, um, you can switch this to the javelin as well to have two. That would be fucking insane. Uh, the best, a better offense is the greatest of the defenses. All right, but now we might be able to switch to LRA. I would hope so anyway, that would justify the uh, switch anyway. Um, overburdened, huh? Might have switched to like, uh, knock dryer. 1900 stability though, that's fucking insanely good. Mm, Ian shortfalls, almost there, but we are using coral, so it doesn't matter as much. Uh, SPD, could we switch to coral? We could, might as well. Coral's great on fucking any toucher, really, because of their upwards thrust and um, normal thrust itself helps you get up and stay in the air for long, which is great. Less energy burnt to get up there, less time, although you can just spam a soft boost kicks as well. But with this, our dodge distance uh, while hover is also going to be fucking naughty. So I can see something like this working for sure. Um, If we were to go... Hmm, no, the weight wouldn't be too far. Yeah, we're gonna look something like this. What would it look like if we were to switch this to Jab? Could we? No, we couldn't. Damn. Damn Zuba. Yeah, SPD ain't worth much on a t uh, Tetra. Yeah, not much. Would Hammer work with that build? Uh, It possibly could, for sure. Although it means uh, you'd have to go in close range, which this is more or less a long range. A build, a BTM range you buy, so not entirely. Although Tetra Hammer is goaded. And aggressive uh, lamb, honestly, pretty sick as well. Like aggressive uh, close range in a way. Very good, very good. Lamb legs are goaded, indeed. You have considered the 20C previously, to be honest. Quite curious to see where you end up going with this. Aye, the 20C is fucking epic, mate. The regeneration is nuts. Hey, Knight, love the builds and the content, dude. Hell yeah, man, I appreciate you. Just started getting into PvP and ranked. Uh, I think you could take a look at it, my build. Oh, hell yeah, man, totally. Hey, Green, how does Endless Nightmare sound for a uh, username? Uh, sounds edgy, but, you know, dope. What's this? The SPD with hammer, yep. Just left my PC share code on the VICAC. Uh, I'm not on PC, so I will not be able to download your PC code. Unfortunately, I do be on the Xbox. Xbox gamer, indubitably. It's honestly a horrible build. Nah, dude. It's great. I'm sure it's epic sus. Alright, but yes. With this type of build, we can definitely take advantage of the hover mode. Look how much distance we even get even with the jump. That's fucking awesome. Yep, just absolutely shredding them at a uh, above 230 meter range. Sending out the jab right now and again. Get that damblage. Get that nice stagger going. Just shred them. Parry anything that comes about. Hell yeah, dude. Yep. Yeah, but the inherent speed you get from hovering is just naughty. Plus, there's some neat techs you can do with um while hovering in lab legs. I feel like move forward, you move faster and burn more energy than if you were to stand still and move to the side. Uh, and that actually corresponds to more speed. So if you move uh, forward and like back, uh, just move around really is the easiest way to do it. Um, you can actually kind of trick the enemy's FCS into thinking that you're moving so quick you're kind of dodging. It's kind of like when you jump with reverse joints, you're jumping at such a velocity that the FCS has to retract, similar to when you dodge. So if you move around quickly with the uh, legs uh, hovering lamb legs, even without dodging itself, you can uh, make FCS boys uh, miss their shots, which is nice. Or make the enemy miss their shots because you break the FCS. Very dope. Uh, 
I be killing, so you know I'm kind of edgy. I see, I see. Makes sense, makes sense. I was thinking it could be a good build to cheese kites. I see. Maybe not quite enough to catch up to lamb, but able to uh, compete with medium range FCS in the AOE of the build or the hand weapons. I see. I for sure I'll leave a part list on the video. Hell yeah, man. I'm excited that you fit LRAs because they basically hit a tetra harder than LA or LR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, VE 20B. Oh, hell yeah, man. For sure. All right, yeah. So you got yourself two versions. You got a lamb version and a normal. Give this boy the Requiem Killers. Requiem. I just loaded it. I'm so dumb. Boom. Bang chilling. Alright, so compared to the original. Uh, yep, obviously much more stability, a little less health, surprisingly. Well, like 300, so, or less than technically. But yeah, stability increases naughty. Speed's better. My defense is a little worse. But yeah. But the speed, oh my god. Mirror that makes up for it. Plus we have a shield, so it doesn't matter too, too much. And now we have much stronger weapons as well. So you lose a bit of health, but you gain a lot more uh, stability and speed and damage. Or you just gain more of both. A little less speed, but in the same speed type bracket. But, uh, yeah, more durability. Much more, in fact. Hell yeah. Alright. Next up, next up. Awesome. Thanks, dude. Let me know when, uh. No, no, no. Life ex uh, asks you first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. I get you. Yeah, life's build for sure. Let's take a look. Definitely excited to try these two ACs in ranked. Hell yeah, hopefully it will work well. Nice, nice indeed. All right, let's check the comments. Indubitably. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see what we have here. All right, to miss your life. Where did you uh, leave build? The most recent Requiem video, or was it in V V sixes? Yeah, I see, I see. I gotcha, I gotcha. Yep, share code and part list. Very nice, very nice. Yep. Hell yeah. Let's see what we got here. Right and left arms, BBC. Okay, okay, we got some plasma going, very heat. S rank promotions is stressful, I can imagine. Eight out of ten, huh? Damn. It's quite the uh, processo. I was debating on whether or not I wanted to stream my last stretch to S rank, considering I'm basically at a B rank now. But I don't know. Now we're done. Oh, 
for the max. LCS, hell yeah. LCSs. We love us some good old LCSs indeed. <laughs> stream. You right, you right. I would totally stream the rest of me ranked climb if y'all are down to watch it, that is, of course. But if not, I understand. Alright, double CSs, Vero, Ephemera, Ephemera, Desert. <laughs> Big old chunky legs. <laughs> this is one of the builds of all time. Why didn't if I had a build frame looking oh yeah, I was theory crafting, never mind. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm like, this looks so familiar. I was theory crafting something similar <laughs> a little while ago. Oh man, but it's goofy. Alright, booster, coral, everything coral. Gotcha, gotcha. The Walt. Is it the Walt? Yeah, it's Walt. Pulse Ama. Oh, here it is. This be the build. You can enjoy the lower ranks. They're more fun, to be honest. They probably are. You have less people knowing what they're doing, which is neat until you... Uh, if you're not fighting people that don't know what they're doing, usually you won't come into the right amount of challenges that you need to refine your build. Um, and then you start fighting people that have refined their builds, and then it's like, damn, you got a lot to learn. Yeah, man, death stream the climb, why not? True, true. Why not? It's a good reasoning, I think. Hell yeah, knight, do it. Oh my god. I'm yet to try ranked too scared nah man it's not that bad think about it this way um rank the way it works right now you basically can't lose in the way you think about it you'll never really de-rank the amount of points you get when you win is far more than you lose when you lose so you could in theory uh run like one of the big uh big bad meta archetypes like a larpster or a rat or a kite something like that um or even just run one of those like like uh, concepts like, for instance, the build I'm rocking right now in ranked um, is my own take on a Larpster, but it is pretty far from a Larpster. Um, and honestly, that's been working charms. So it's been working wonders. It's pretty fine-tuned right now. In fact, I'm blanking on things to improve on it. But, you know, I say once you've locked in on a really cool build in your own type of style, uh, as long as you put all your eggs in one basket in terms of that type of range, you'll have a great time. And then where you get akin to it, you just, uh, you know, get good and good and good and it's good times. Unless you're losing something so harshly, like getting fucking 2 0 immediately is like nuts. Because then you're like, damn, my build's lacking in this area. I wonder if I can improve it. Like the chunky legs and the skinny upper body look, it is pretty heat. You start it today. I see, I see. It do be kind of fun. My records will be will all be defeated. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. True, true. S rank just gave me AIDS. <laughs> AIDS and cancer. Damn. It'd be like that. This build honestly melts the uh, tester AC, but in actual PvP it gets uh, stunned locked. It gets stunned locked as shit. Uh, damn, can't dodge much and seems to have a terrible EN. Lol. I see. Nova. Indeed. I would agree. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right. So I believe we can save this. Say, see data. Yes, yes, yes. Being chilling. All right. Now we reforge this baby. All right, so number one, uh, pretty much in every case scenario, I always opt for the Nebula over the uh, 60 PR only because the the fire rate's better, right? Or is it worse? No, fire rate's better, yeah, by quite a bit too. Similar damage, better, um, actually same direct hit, more charge, which is nice. Um, yeah, no, the fire rate just always kind of outdoes it. The fire rate of this is so slow, man. It is rough. Yeah, so if we can, it's kind of like Zimmerman Holderman situation. Used to be lighter, but don't do as much. So if we can switch double Nebula, 
Um, I mean, ultimately, I'd switch these to Zims because that's just a better overall um, DPS, but we're sticking in the uh, realm of Plasma. I definitely would optimize these. These LCSs wouldn't change them for the world. Uh, Veral Head, probably end up keeping it. Um, immediately, let's change up this to Alula, as close range is our new range, as that's really where the uh, LCSs really shine, and the Nebulas might as well shine there as well. They're good individually. Do some ranks. I indeed. Ugh, rank climbing is annoying, but worth it. I, Yeah, the only problem so far I've come across in ranked is just facing the same couple of people over and over. It's it pretty boring. And when they get toxic, it's like, damn. Like, every single time I played ranked. It's like when I used to play Killer and DVD. Always get messages. And sometimes it's funny. Other times it's just sad. And other times it's concerning. Like, damn, bro. Chill. Just ranked, bro. Just ranked. Chill. All right, well, yeah, let's see what we got here. All right, let's change these legs. Honestly, could probably give this um, the epic loadout indeed. Mm. Acellus for sure. Coral gen for sure. Pretty much needed at this rate with all these energy weapons. Nebulas are definitely superior. LCS, they're all head. Although, honestly, if we go... Nah, we don't actually get much boost speed off of that. Uh, yeah. Call, call, call. Damn, we don't get much speed off that either. Looks like around 3.5, almost 3.10-ish is what we're going to have to be rocking with, it would seem. Well, if I change... What's the recoil of these, actually, of nebulas? I can't imagine they're a whole lot. 15. 15 a pop. That's not bad. 30, though. They beat half of uh, Bastion Arms. And we're almost at 310. Also, you mix that with their fire rate. You probably have some good accuracy. And we're close to range with Ocellus. So, honestly, we'd be pretty chilling. AC6 toxic a toxicity grinds my gears. I, uh, it is a little goofy. People getting egos is also super cringe in this game. Oh man. Luckily I haven't met a lot of people, but some do and it's oh man, is it goofy? That's not like this could work. They're going with Bastion might be overkill and honestly, we don't really need it. I mean hmm, actually let's see. What's our boost efficiency right now? Reload time seventy. Let me change Bastion back to we got seven point seven, not that much different. Also, neat tech with the uh, LCSs, and you can do this with any cannons on your shoulders. Uh, go to fire them, dodge, and then fire them again. Uh, when you go to fire them and dodge, it will give them the warning. So chances are they'll dodge, and you can get a nice little roll catch, which is always very fun. Because it's either they, you know, even if they see it coming, it's probably still going to land. Unless they, you know, spam dodge. But then you're burning, you're making them burn so much energy that it's, it's just worth it no matter what. Get close, fucking faint it. Because either they stand still and, you know, honestly, the best thing they can do is stand still, but they might miss the, the uh, mind game and still get hit. They dodge and get hit, or they dodge, dodge, and burn a lot of energy. But, you know, works fucking wonders. Plus, I've seen, like, no one use it, so I imagine you'll get the uh, surprise, the jump on a lots of lads, indeed. Good tip, awesome tip. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> this boy think he could jam my lock on a win, but nah, I win. Nah, I'd win. You're right, you're right. Alright, so yes, uh, Nebula LCS is 3, near 310. Use the salt boost to close distance. Our Ian load's not great, but we're on Coral Gen, so it really doesn't matter. Um, Yeah, looking good to me, man. I know I'd fall for that for sure. Hey, man, I probably would too. I mean, what are you gonna do to the just eat the fucking lasers or try to dodge? Oh, man. You have a rough time. Honestly, you ever um, 
if you ever get match made with someone, like you're in the beginning of the screen of the match and you see both players, you know, their introductions, their builds, right? If you see someone that is like a 370 type of kite with like Rensetsu or something like that, drop your back weapon. Uh, yeah, drop your back weapons um, and just rely on assault boost in the close of the distance and, you know, light them up with your primaries. You're never going to hit them with the LCSs unless you're right next to them and right above them. Being right above the opponent also with LCSs, I suppose another excellent tip. Uh, being right above the enemies is a great way to land the LCSs. As even, well, this is a, I mean, a tip for almost any video game. Being above the enemy is always better than being below or on the same level as you're more likely to hit them, whether that be because of gravity or just you know verticality. Um, but yeah, being right above them is pretty much the only way you're going to land it on such a high speed target. But yeah, no. Against a very fast kite slash rat. Just ditch your back weapons. They're not really going to ever really come to play, and you're going to need the speed with the assault boost. If we ditch these, we reach... Actually, let's, here, let's save this, and then we'll experiment with that in a second. I imagine with this loadout, we'll reach around 370, maybe 380 boost speed. Assault boost, anyway. And natural speed might be around, like, 340. Uh, let's see. Nice. Yep, 345. And let's see what our assault boost is. So naturally our speed with these on is three six. And our assault boost is four fifty-five. So if we ditch, purge. Get that huge speed boost 500 393 or 493 nice that's great that's definitely enough to catch up and when you do catch up um most people tend to kick or dodge out of their assault boost to end the assault boost whenever they get close uh kick obviously because you know if they land the kick that's epic you have to stagger them do some damage if they're a fast kite gen so you're not landing the kick because they'll just out dodge the distance you uh dodge distance you um and dodging out of your self boost burns way too much energy like this. Or, yeah, you burn way too much energy as well. So what I'd like to do um, is just press A. Press your jump button. Whatever makes you jump up in the air. Doing that cancels it. And you get some nice momentum out of it because you're jumping. You don't burn a lot of energy. And uh, yeah, you operate right out right next to them, which would be very nice. Especially considering a lot of, kind of like the uh, faint tip. A lot of people don't do it, so you don't, uh, often enemies won't see it coming. Which is nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah. Also, don't, uh, exit out of Assault Boost right up next to them, because chances are they'll just dodge past you and be on their merry way. So, like, dodge, or jump, exit out of Assault Boost when you're, uh, more or less near them, not exactly right on them, though. Because if you get right near them, they try to dodge away, you can dodge with them, and then, you know, they have no distance on you. It's just epic sauce. Any tips for landing melee on people constantly flying? Um, either, well, it depends on what kind of melee build you're rocking, I'd say. Either A, if you're going to land melee on people when they just keep running away, um, just save your melee for whenever, you know, they're staggered, obviously, as a staggered punish. If you run Kankaku Booster, you're pretty much guaranteed to land melee. Just get kind of close and then use melee canceling because if it's an amazing uh, boost and in consumption, you can also use this as traversal in general with the melee build. Um, this is a great way to guarantee. Super good on the Coral Oscillator because it has such a big window of when you can faint it, meaning you'll get a lot of distance out of it before you have to cancel it to continue the distance. Um, but you know, if they just keep flying away, chances are you're not gonna really be able to land a raw melee on them unless you have such a booster. So you're gonna have to rely on staggering them first and then landing on them. Or kick them into melee, which for some weapons can be a true combo. I know uh, Pulse Blade and Oscillator is not a true combo, but it's very effective on reverse joint kicks. And then obviously any kick into the uh, plasma thrower, the hammer, is a uh, true combo. Incredibilis. Well, you know, if we have any other builds, first come, first serve, let's see what we got. Thanks for the build tweaks and combat tips, brother. Of course, brother. Anytime, brother. 
Got it, got it. Thank you. Hell yeah, man. Okay, give me a sec. Hell yeah, dude. If you got a build, let it roll. Just list the parts. Yeah, yep. That'd be epic. That'd be the myth, Yaldo. But yeah, no, if any of you have any other builds that you want me to take a look at over the uh, week while I'm uh, doing other videos and stuff like that, not streaming, uh, feel free to join the Xbox Fight Club Discord. You can find a link to it in uh, pretty much any of my Armor Core videos. And uh, in there, you can put a, your builds in the Requiem Workshop. You can make your own thread in the channel itself. And uh, yeah, post any builds you want in there at any time, and I'll be sure to get to you in due time. And you don't even need to be on Xbox itself to join the server, considering we'll have me and another person, uh, Mecha, who's a streamer for Armor Core. We're going to be doing a, uh, or we're planning on one anyway. Probably going to be a thing. Um, a fashion, an armor drip, an armor decor contest. And because of the nature of it being a fashion contest, not like a normal tournament, um, anyone can compete. It's just about sharing your uh, images of your builds in the actual Discord. So any platform you're on, you can still compete. Or participate, rather. Which is pretty neat. So yeah, you can join the Xbox Fight Club Discord even if you're not on Xbox. And you can compete in events such as that. Or, yeah, drop your bills in the Requiem Workshop. As streaming just one day a week, I'm sure I can't get to all the builds. But yeah, no, I will try to get to as many. Fashion Souls. Oh yeah, dude. Got that armored, that armored decor, that Elden Bling, that Fashion Souls. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, dude, I can't wait till the Elden Ring DLC drops. The Shadow of the Erd Tree this June. Oh, it's going to be dope. It's going to be absolutely fucking epic. Oh, it have been a year since Elden Ring dropped, I believe, so that would be dope. Mind if I drop one in this chat after Bill? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. You can comment on the latest Requiem video, or, yeah, you can save it to post it in the chat. Uh, probably a little later. Uh, you could post it now if you want, but it may get buried under discussion as we build this build. All right. What we got here? All right, so Viral, Fern, Hal. All right, so we're going parts first. All right, Viral, Farm. Yeah. Hal. What else? Alba. SPD, FCS Talbot, VP20C, Salt Armor, Zimmerman, Isogen, Very Heat, Very Heat, and me has an idea. What else we got? Zimmerman, Isogen, Balaam, G2. SPL. That split missile? Yep. SPL 8. Gotcha. Single. And orbit. Laser orbit? Yeah, 91. Gotcha. All right. Here he is. Here's our lad. And can't wait for the Elden Ring DLC. Hell yeah. I'll be sure to uh, either stream um, playing that for sure or make a, some type of video. Maybe return to some Elden Ring content like uh, used to do in the past. Bring back the Savior build. Help some people throughout the DLC. That could be pretty fun. That is the best end game of any game. You know, to beat it, do all the content, then you just do group post. Help people do the content again. Get a way to relive it. Me thinks, me thinks. 
All right, so 370s, boost speed, not bad. Very evasive, very epic. All right, so nice thing, I mean, these split missiles are very dope. Thing is, they do lose their potency uh, at a closer range, which we will definitely be in, considering we have two weapons at close range as well. Considering we have two weapons at close range, um, in my experience anyway, it's much better to go full on into, uh, basically, for the example, if you have two weapons, Say one's medium to long range, or medium to close range, which I'm not saying the usage is, but for example, imagine if you had one like a rifle and a shotgun, or a rifle and a machine gun, and then you had another one that's close range, uh, so a weapon that's medium close, and a one that's just close. You're going to have to get just, you have to get close for the just close weapon, so your weapon that's good in medium and close might as well be uh, as good in close as your just close weapon. So... With that in mind, I would say double zim. One zim's neat, but double zim's is just great. Isogen's neat, but on a lighter, fast boy build, the more burst damage you can do, for instance, double zim and then keep moving, and then double zim to keep moving, versus zim, shoot, 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 you know, dodge around, shoot, shoot. You basically have to stand still more to get more value out of the Isogen than you would have to get out of the Zimmerman. So therefore, we will be running the Zim out of all. As well as the split missile is good at medium to long range, but close range is when it starts to dip in quality as it becomes a lot more yeah, easy to avoid. Unlike the six cell, which is more or less, it's kind of the uh, the opposite. It's better at close range, especially barrel stuffing. It's just, it's great than that type of uh, firing range in the way, it, you know, trajectory. Uh, but not so great at medium to long range. Decent, but much more avoidable. Um, which every missile is avoidable some way or another. As well as the orbit, uh, the laser orbit itself is definitely neat in the constant damage, keeping the stagger up constantly. Thing is, on a close range build like this, you'd be better off with the Huxley bullet orbit as the stagger buildup is way meatier, uh, or mightier anyway, <laughs> meatier. Um, but yeah, that also fucking Huxley's just great for this type of damage. However, I would opt this for a melee as we're gonna switch the arms to Bastio because we're using shotguns. We don't need the recoil control as well as the recoil itself isn't that hard. As well as the recoil, uh, or the recoil control is not incredible. In fact, it's second to worst, only second to the jailbreak. That being 60, which is honestly, 66 recoil control is pretty bad. Um, but it is enough to run a lot of good weapons, such as Zim, Isujins, um, not really Sampus, uh, Vientos, Rinsetsu, S, uh, Rinsetsu RF, and uh, probably a little bit of extra weapons, but those are like the big good ones. Um, so yeah, if we run that and we run a melee instead of our bullet orbit, we would be getting so much value. Um, so I would say just for overall general usage, Pulse Blade is ap absolutely fucking epic. But uh, I do understand if you want to keep it more of a uh, non-melee build, that's understandable as well. But yeah, the Basho arms as well. A lot of people are like, hey, why do you run Basho on so many builds, man? You're not even on enough fucking melee weapon. And I'm like, hey, man. Hey, man. It's because... Their weight to durability ratio is fucking nuts. I mean, you know, we just threw on an extra Zim, heavier missiles, and we're faster than we were before. We were at 370-something, 374 or 7, something like that. Now we're at 380. That's because the best show arms are so light, they usually give us like a 20 increase to our boost speed. That is if we're not incredibly heavy uh, initially, which is great. Yeah, and the durability AP given is fucking mighty, man. Yeah, light, durable amazing um what else um alba legs probably gonna keep them yeah i want to still stick within 370 if uh if possible see so yeah, alula because they're way better for close range aggressive builds talba is neat but we really need to go max in our fcs because of our lack in firearm spec from our arms firearm spec from uh, arms themselves as a stat isn't very important it's neat, uh, but it only gives you some contribution to what the FCS does, but the FCS does way more than the arms firearm spec. Firearm spec is just kind of help the FCS get to the, um, uh, across the finish line. So if you have something like the 21A, it's almost medium range, or the uh, better example, the Walt. Uh, both medium and long range are almost there. They're halfway. Uh, say, Knockrier with 150 firearm spec, these are 160. Wow, they buffed them. That's right in the past for, uh, from launch. Um, this would help it get a little bit further. It's not a flat value in how much it actually gives. Otherwise, that'd be fucking insane. Um, but it does help it a little bit get you uh, nearing the end. It pretty much would even out the uh, waltz. But, you know, we don't really need the uh, firearm spec because we're just going max in our range anyway. You really don't need to worry about firearm spec if your uh, FCS range is maxed. So if you run something like the Ocellus 
or you run the PO5, you don't really need firearm spec, so you don't need to consider it at all when making your build or choosing your arms. Yep, because we're using ourselves, we're close range, we don't need firearm spec, and we don't need recoil control because we're using Zims, and uh, we're lightweight bullies, so we definitely benefit from Basho, as well as melee. So Basho is goaded. Uh, if you be 20C, natural regeneration goat, especially for lighter builds, keep that. Assault armor is neat, especially when paired with the assault or uh, the uh, laser dagger. But honestly, pulse armor is just way more convenient and usable in most scenarios. As, you know, it just is. Because they say you're fighting close range boy. Sure, you might win or lose a game of chicken with your assault armor or with your, uh, yeah, your assault armor. Um, and you can definitely, you know, you get staggered close range. You can use the assault armor to have the enemy back the fuck up or reverse. Turn the tables. The tables have been turned. But you can't do it if a someone at range, say, kite staggers you. Your assault armor is going to do nothing because they're already far away from you. Nothing's going to happen. Um, yeah, keep the multi of six melee. Unless, of course, you don't want to run melee. You could run back to like the uh, bullet orbit. That's definitely a fine country, or fine uh, substitute versus the laser orbit, methinks. I've been talking for a while. Goddamn. What are you else saying? Anything I feel like a lack is a stagger punish. The dagger, the... Uh, Blade would definitely do it. Okay, okay. I got owned by a kite build and switched off of something similar to this. Lamile. I see, I see. So FCS, would you go with? Uh, yes, definitely Ocellus. Definitely, definitely. All right. Uh, now for core, we could definitely run Alba. Um, yeah, I think Alba legs are also going to be the best we can run for this, which is fine. Actually, you yeah, know. Knockrider legs are nice, but, you know, they're not the... Well, they're really good, but... Um, they're definitely a play style. Alright, in terms of 370... What else could we run at 370? Comfortably, anyway. I mean, with a build like this, you don't really need to go 370. In fact, it's definitely a choice. Um, 370 speed is insane. Really fast, really evasive. But I feel like this type of build on 370, although it's really good, you have to play really safe and really smart when fighting heavier opponents. So it's better f for sure to go down to like 340, 330 speed, and you'll have a much better time. But uh, keeping the nature of the original build alive with the speed, 370 is definitely where you want to go. But if indeed you find you just get melted by, you know, uh, LCB tanks or just LARPsters in general, because that is the range you'll be fighting them, uh, you'll definitely have to work a lot harder in maneuvering around them to get uh, you know a good old uh, value out of that nice speed. Uh, catching rats and stuff like that should not be that hard, definitely. You don't even have to purge your weapons. You just uh, salt boost close and uh, use your zimmies. Um, but, you know, if you want to go a little thicker, definitely could do that as well. But so far, this is definitely within the same nature of the build, but a little bit of optimization. Very nice, very nice. Lost a little bit of speed. We getting a lot more, a lot more durability, especially a lot more health. My god. Oh uh, yeah, should be chilling. Awesome man, thank you. Awesome, thank you. Can't wait to try it. Hell yeah, dude. Definitely tell me how it goes. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, just uh, shoot your shotguns and then dodge around. Uh, probably not red line because your natural regeneration is gonna be hella fast. So uh, yeah. All right, next up, next up, what have we? Do we have another build to take a look at? Indeed. Let's say after we take a look at this next build, we'll uh, start our work on our reforge of whatever Vesper we're going to take a look at next, which I will, of course, leave up to y'all to vote on which Vesper we take a look at, because I was unable to make a community post for it this week. Misa forgot to... Yeah, but do we have another build to take a look at from the chat? Indeed. And if not, uh, leave your vote for which Vesper we should take a look at out of the remaining Vespers, which is everyone except for uh, V6's Infection. Which I'm surprised so far in the name suggestions for uh, V6. I'm surprised I haven't seen, like, Virus or uh, Venom. But I've seen Outbreak. That's pretty heat. Seen some cool ones as well. Uh, 
I hope that's readable because this uh, spaces didn't all come through. Um, did you put something in the chat? I don't see it. Let's not see it, Mr. Iron. In this chat, yeah? I. Hmm. I do not see it in here. Did you leave it in a comment or did you leave it in this chat? You can leave it in either. You'll post it under uh, V6 then? Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, sometimes YouTube is weird, man. Sometimes if it's not like... If it looks too much like a link, YouTube will think it's like something, you know, suspicious and just delete it automatically. How about we give Swinburne some love? Haha, uh -huh. yeah, I'm down. I am down. Swinburne it is. Cowabunga it is. We'll load him up real quick like, and then we'll take a look at Iron's build. And then we'll reforge Swinburne. Alright, where is Swinburne? There he is. Alright. Alright. Very nice, very nice. Just load him up. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I gotta fucking do this and then discard. Yeah, I've noticed that the uh, Vespers don't uh, have their symbol, their uh, emblem on their AC, unlike the Red Guns. Very interesting. Very neat. Oh, God. <laughs> I already know what we're upgrading first on this AC. And it's not the Stumbaton, because the Stumbaton's OP. All right, I just pushed it in the video. Nice. I'll take a look. I will take a look in own momento. I'm going to check a look. Grab my phone. Phone acquired. All right. There he is, Monsieur V6. Newest commento. Here it is. Alright, heavy machine gun, double trouble, good old chainsaw. That do be your favorite weapon there, Iron, I imagine. Do we love on a chainsaw? Alright. Alright, heavy machine gun, double trouble. What else we got? Six cell. Huxley. At this rate, might as well go double Huxley. We get that value. We'll see. Basho head. Hmm. Ultra barrel head anytime I think about Basho. 40A. Oh, we're a thick boy, eh? We're a thick boy. Basho arms. Hell yeah. Get that melee damblage. And the recoil from the heavy machine gun probably lines up, although I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see. Break our legs. Definitely get those heavy kicks in for sure. I usually do missiles build or missile builds, so I have no idea how well this really works. I see. I see. I see, said the blind man. SPD, Ocellus. Sentai. And Pulse Armor. Alright. To give him real quick, reforge O. Or Requiem. All right. Um, well, that's the thing, honestly. <laughs> the oh, I just, hmm. we uh, we did a chainsaw build not too long ago. Where's he at? Yeah, this boy. This type of load itself is honestly super good for it. I mean, we got the missiles. I mean, yeah, I'd probably run this exact AC in its place. Got the Devil Zim layout, which is better than the machine gun. And the Huxley missiles, although I guess you could put Huxley instead of the missiles. Honestly, anything works as extra stagger here. And then, uh, yeah, the frame also matches it. 310 to great. You're on Coral Booster, I believe. Yeah, so you get a lot. Assault armor. I must have left it as assault armor. Should be pulsed. Yeah, honestly. This boy be the boy. Sorry, just copy and paste, but hey, it do be kind of epic. 
or it, uh, it to be a chain sub build. And if you get it right, you get it right. The durability difference is there for sure, although honestly, not that different. Less than 200, less AP. Defenses are about 100, less than 100 actually difference too, by quite a bit. And the stability is not even a 50 difference. Damn. Much better speed. Nice. Yeah, not bad. Not a bad to me thinks. Sorry to kind of speed run it, but I mean, hey. If we gotta build, we gotta build, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Green, it will be funny if I sent you my opponent's build. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, man. Your, if your opponent doesn't want it a Requiem, doesn't want it optimized, that's all right, man. <laughs> uh, that would be pretty funny. Alright, with that out of the way, let's take a look at Swinburne. Alright, what could we upgrade on my brother, Swinburne? First things first. Basho Arms. We're not running any weapons that require us to run anything else. Uh, upgrade legs from these shitty tetra. We could go... I mean, these are meant to be light tetra. So we could go lamb legs and do with like a lamb build. I think first let's optimize the weapons and we'll see if the weapons uh, line up with it. Earshot. Um, bazooka. I could either go Fasan again. But honestly, I like the idea of just having like a Majestic or Quan for this uh, keep the box missile shield I'll probably keep although maybe tweak based on how the PvP test goes um, man <laughs> a dagger uh, we'll go with the honestly I would say upgrade the subaton to the dagger as that's just get the better version of both but honestly on tetra explosive thrower it's the better melee even knows it would be funny I for a wheelchair with a coral blade. Hey man. That's a ballsy lad. Imagine if you could uh, keep going, moving with the wheelchair while you use the charged oscillator. That'd be fucking awesome. That'd be so goofy. I would love that. Oh, uh, that'd be great. Um, since we're tetra, might as well just go with the Varel head. Um, mind off the core. And yeah, could we go? We would be overburdened. Mm. Yeah, might as well go heavy tetra then. Fugal, fugal booster, interesting. I mean, I guess you need the speed with the dagger. Now go coral booster. Max missile lock, huh? I mean, yeah, I guess, considering you don't really need FCS tracking for a grenade cannon or missiles, but uh, now we need something for our uh, majestic so Walt it will be. 20C, not so bad, but we're already at 390. We might as well just go Coral, so we just have the opt uh, the energy of the gods. Pulse Armor, keep Pulse Armor. Yeah, there's something like this should absolutely shred through. We'll do a little uh, practice against the AI version of this one, burn and see what's up. See just how different uh, much of the defense we have in the performance already. Then obviously me Shattered, or whoever volunteers, shall do the PvP test indeed. Some Furbo to shoot us out. Oh, damn. <laughs> that, that fucking dodged. I didn't expect that. Was stones. Little shield to shield. Could we run... Probably could. I mean, we're heavy Tetra. Yes, sir. Hell. Although, actually, you know what? Instead of a missile, or missile launcher, anyway, let's make it just another fucking. Let's make this the Quan Chi, and then on our back we'll have the Javelin.
All right. All right, with that, should be pretty chillin'. I imagine if we Rick Stagger, we can use the Javelin as more or less a Stagger Punish. That would keep, get lots of damage out of that. Double Zook melee build. Man. pretty good all right now so if we're going full heavy boy could we go with yeah only a loss in five speed but gain so much in every other category fuck yeah dude at that rate also we might as well go from our arms <laughs> basically the heavy texture fit which is pretty dope yeah what do you think crow what do you think about this current assortment i think it's pretty cash money have we go too? Have we gone too far off model? So far, speed difference not that crazy, but the durability is insane. Man, it's juicing. From a missile and grenade cannon to double bazooka, from a dagger melee to an explosive thrower melee, which aligns up with our more explosive side anyway, and keeping a good old shield. We do be on a tetra. Look so far so good. Me thinks. Me thinks, me thinks. What, what do we think so far? Harm. I would agree. Not hopeless in streaming no more. Goddamn. Unfortunate. Heavy boy. Aye. Indeed. I would say, like, oh, well, you know, Nimrod Swinburne isn't so heavy, so, you know, I mean, it's a bit of a stretch, but at the same time, he's at 380 speed, so, I mean... He's not not heavy. If you know what I mean. Indeed. Like a heavy boy too, yeah. I would agree. I would agree, indeed. Man, heavy lad, dude. Heavy fucking lad. See how he does against the AI version of himself. Where are you? Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a lead? There he is. Swinburne. Guidance. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. Let's Number see. 23. Rank E. Final Evaluation. Subject AC. Guidance. Call sign V7 Swinburne. Commencing Evaluation. Good old V7. Main system activating combat mode. Let's see what we got. We're just holding up the shield by default, dude. Get your ass back here. What the hell, he's going sicko mode with the dagger? He's going sicko mode? Ah, oh, there, ah. Oh. Let's do it again. Main system, activating combat mode. We do it again. Where to die? You 
die, you die, you die. She'll be doing work for him. Yeah, damn. I was abusing the shield myself. Target destroyed. This concludes E rank evaluation. Well done. Very heat. Yeah, looking good to me, man. We'll see how far is in the actual PvP test. Though I imagine good things. I do think Zooks against shields can be rough, though. It's a very slow burn. I... Hey, Green. Hello there. Hello there, indeed. How to duty. Looking good to me. Witch. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. You right? You right. Which more do you think is brutal? Um, my I think my favorite Mori, not even just like brutal as fucking uh, Wesker's, fucking slap him, take the fucking glasses off, fucking grabs the tentacle, fucking sucker punch. It's so fucking funny. I love it. But most brutal. Hmm. Honestly. Hmm. Mm hmm. Huh. Nemesis is pretty, like, curb stomp brutal. But, hmm. The hag is something? Oh, for sure. Hags is pretty brutal. Um. Blights is pretty crazy. Um. Dude, the f my favorite has to be the skull merchant, dude. It, it, it's so cool. It's so good. Man. I forget, didn't they change her Mori after the first one was just so underwhelming? Man, what a, what a killer that one. But yeah, no, uh, some pretty good ones. Pretty pretty good ones. I mean, the unknown one is pretty, like, disturbing indeed. Which is epic. Yeah, but they're all pretty neat, pretty cool. What do you think is the most brutal? Which one's your favorite? Is it the hag? When you like his lesion and Deathslinger. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, they're pretty dope. Deathslinger fucking raising them up and shooting through their fucking mouth is pretty sick. Yeah, I never played Deathslinger, but he's pretty dope. Just because I don't have him. Only killers I have are obviously all the default ones. Played Myers for a while, which Myers himself isn't, of course, a great killer in, in, you know, in the grand scheme, but still pretty fun. Definitely crazy how different he becomes based on add-ons for sure just fun like the brutal strength of it uh hag was pretty fun made her for a minute doc's okay never really made him for long only because eh, he's all right he's all right um but yeah no i mean i have bubba i don't think i've ever played him in a public match the knight's pretty neat but i wish it worked differently it was kind of just like better <laughs> but yeah no lots of killers lots of neat stuff recently get into execution or oni Stuff like that. The build works nice. Thank you so much. Just went to 5-0. and oh. oh, hell yeah, man. That's fucking epic. Get that win streak, win streak. You already maxed him out in mobile? I oh, can. Yeah. I see, I see. That's pretty heat. Ghostface is fun. And Knight is more like a uh, control. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure, man. Yeah, lots of ghost faces in public matches. Especially at the lower ranks, he's very popular. 
Not the greatest of the killers in terms of, you know, pure effect effectiveness. A control killer? Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, Skull Merchant, Knight, very uh, control killer. S. Which are neat. But, like, you know. I just, uh, it'd be neat if you could, like, actually choose which knights you put out for certain things. But I guess that would be kind of... Well, no, I wouldn't be that crazy. Because it's not like Knight himself is an absolutely nutty killer, necessarily, in the grand scheme of things, comparatively to others. But, like, if you could, like, always choose, be like, yo, I want this knight equipped, go and smash the gen. I want this uh, knight to help me in chases, stuff like that. I know you can manipulate it in the turns, but it'd be kind of neat if you could command them in your own different ways. Uh, or, like, command them more in particular. As well as I wish Knight of the Realm, Grey, uh, Brown Adon was just base kit. Because normal radius is fucking trash. Pretty much making the fucking Knight of the Realm, or uh, uh, Map of the Realm, Adon, pretty much uh, a must-have for almost any build. Unless you're going for something very specific. Or you're sacrificing it anyway for something very strong and worth it. But, you know. But aesthetically, Knight, this obviously, I do, I do be liking it. be kind of epic sauce. I'll put Pinhead as a remote control rocket. Oh god, that'd be fucking awesome, dude. I think Pinhead is probably the most like lame killer, I think. Obviously, Pinhead is a concept and, you know, the character itself is pretty neat, but really? <laughs> chains, that's it. Just random little chains that you can break easily if you run into a if you, uh, and move them between a wall, like, really? Jesus Christ. That is, uh, yeah, it's one of the abilities of all time. Have you seen in the current, uh, test server that the twins have pretty much become the uh, strongest killers to ever, uh, grace DBD? They have the, uh, fucking, what's it called? Um, counterplay the, of original Legion, where it's just nothing you can do once they're on you. Oh, man. Behavior be making those choices, choices. Those changes, changes. It's so weird. Me and my friends get into DVD. Behavior starts making, like, the dumbest choices and fucking decisions ever. And then we stop playing for so long. The game becomes better. They start making good choices and changes and stuff like that. Then we get back into it, and they start making dumb shit again. <laughs> it's so fucking bizarre, man. I think they've done a pretty good job so far. But the Onryo is scary as fuck. I see, I see. Yeah, the Onryo is pretty neat. Pretty neat. Haven't played against her a whole lot, so I don't have a whole lot of uh, counterplay um, knowledge outside of just so you know what I know. But you know, she's pretty dope. Pretty neat killer. Good old stealth killer. I wish we got like a new type of killer. Because right now we only have like stealth killers, uh, range killers. Uh, map pressure killers, kind of well, control killers, uh, chase killers. Well, every kill is a chase killer, but you know what I mean. Like Legion is more of a chase-oriented map pressure, or it uses chase um, close proximity to survivors to generate pressure overall the map. Considering you know he has no actual presence other than going around stabbing everyone, but yeah, no. And one uh, of her perks is triggering. I see, I see. That's pretty heat. Yeah, but if we need to get some type of new, unique type of killer, I think. Something, something. Because we se just seem to kind of get more. The more of, like, the same type of archetype of killers we get, the more you'll compare them. Like, Trickster is neat, but Trickster is kind of like a uh, an much easier Huntress. But if you're better at Huntress, or you're a good Huntress... You'll almost never want to do Trickster because there's literally no point. Your aim would be better off actually doing hit states way quicker. Especially with New Huntress. And that you get haste to catch up if you land your hatchet, which I think is just ridiculous. Oh, man. And you get seven base kit. Like, oh, my God, man. Skull is more like a, a scouting type of killer. I mean, she certainly. I mean, just like Knight, she certainly can be if you put them in you know areas of either path things or just overall put them on gens. But she's a control killer in the sense of both have the same play style of all right, we're at the loop. I put down my knight. I put down my drone. You have to leave or you risk dying. Except for with the skull merchant, it's even worse because if you're in my area, 
I am undetectable, and if you're near for too long, you either become exposed or you get the trap on you, which is rough. Unlike um, Knight, where you just have to play around the NPC Knight uh, with the real one, um, which depending on which Knight it is, will be very easy, very tough, or you can just break their AI by simply running towards a vault and then running away, and the knight will have to repeat, the ghost knight anyway, will have to repeat that exact motion, that exact animation of going to it and then turning instead of just cutting you off, which is so fucking dumb. As well as the knight uh, placing down, going into summon mode can often be a little tricky as they still haven't fixed it in where sometimes if you're too close to an object, you won't be able to go to the animation, unlike the... Uh, Skull Merchant, where you can just drop it. Skull Merchant is just like in almost every sense of the word, or every sense of the mechanic, uh, better knight. So unfortunate. A fucking machine gun trickster with his knives. Oh yeah, for sure. Tricksters like Huntress, if you didn't have to like worry about aiming too much, you just got close and looked at them and just fucking sprayed and prayed. Obviously, the more uh, you space your shots, the more accuracy you'll get. So that's obviously going to be a better, but I mean... The accuracy doesn't go away. It's not that crazy, so you can honestly just look and spray and pray, and you'll probably find success, which is just so dumb. But, uh, oh, man. Yeah, but, like, the more they add those type of archetypes, the more you'll compare them to be like, oh, this is just a shittier this or a uh, better this, stuff like that. Like, I would consider Xenomorph a better Demogorgon. Similar lunge attack or distance lunge attack, similar to the... Uh, fucking tentacle of nemesis and he has portals around the map yeah, there's some give and take but still some uh, some of those give and takes far away others man I can't be nice or cruel to survivors as Deathslinger I see I see hey man you are the law you must serve justice to these uh, people who have wronged you You are the rickiest of all the rats, and that's a fact. All right, yeah, yeah, we got some. How many requiems did we get? How many requiems we get tonight? Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, slash nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So like eleven point one. That's pretty dope. And reforge. Not bad. My friend already has Nemesis. Ah, uh, hell yeah, dude. Nemesis is pretty neat. Did you know, fun fact about DVD culture, it is as accepted as it is for a, a uh, uh, Bubba to face camp. Well, <laughs> accepted as much as you wish. Um, or expected, rather than accepted. It's expected as much as a Bubba is to face camp as it is a Nemesis to uh, tunnel. And that is purely because of the comedy of unhooking a survivor, seeing them run away, and then immediately looking and seeing the nemesis fucking trucking with his run animation past you, completely ignores you, just to go after the person who just got the hook. Probably even not even waiting to till their endurance goes away. I just fucking walk past you, fucking punch, and they keep chasing. And there's nothing you do, man. Yeah, that's him. He's just a nemi nemi, man. His run animation is so funny. The fact that he just fucking socks people is almost enough to want to get him. Oh, man, he's cool. He's cool. If his zombies were a little better, that'd be fucking pretty cool. But they are. They are something. Fucking sucker punch. Yeah, it's great. I, I fucking love it, dude. Bro is Thanoid. Just going around absolutely trucking. Bersky's heat heat. But all right, yeah. I mean, yeah. Got some good requiems. Got a reforge. Thanks, pretty heat. Indubilis. All right, with that, I think I'll be closing the stream now. Indubitably. I appreciate you, Crow, and everyone else who showed up. Indubitless. And uh, yeah, I'll be sure to catch y'all next week. Same same time next week, as well as of course the next video that I upload. Indubitably. There's an item that decreases the spawn, but all type. Uh, Lots of exit gates are open. Zombies spawn. Ah, I get you, I get you. Yeah, yeah there's some pretty cool add-ons. Like, all the zombies become super fast when the generators are complete. Stuff like that. I think it's the Eerie Badge or the Umbrella. Either one. Thanks, brother. Have a good night. Yeah, man. You too, man. Just wanted to say I hit a 9 streak on that. Uh, on that build you built for me. Oh, hell yeah, brother. 
That's fucking dope. Good to hear indeed. Rest well, knights. I will try. We don't sleep here. We take long blinks, brother. But I appreciate y'all very much. I will catch y'all next time. Uh, indubitably. And always remember, when in doubt, my schmeet, the world is an egg.